Hello and welcome to the tutorial on floor sliding. Floor sliding was added and moved at 1.22 and is currently a beta feature. In the near future, depending on how people want to utilize it, we will probably see some additions in functionality. So I'm just going to go over the settings and during this tutorial, we will change the current floor sliding system from one that you might find in, say, an action game where the purpose is to go under an obstacle to something more like what you might see in Apex Legends. And in Apex Legends, you can just keep floor sliding almost indefinitely if you're going downhill. So let's get started so we open up the character blueprint come to in my character movement and just type sli for slide so we're going to start with the general settings the first is the floor slide condition so the default setting is speed threshold meaning if we crouch while we're over the speed then it will slide now the default max walk speed is lower than this number which means we still have to be sprinting or otherwise moving faster than we can normally walk and press crouch to slide. Alternatively, you can make it so you simply have to be sprinting to start sliding or you can even have both if you want. The reason for using speed threshold is simply that if you stop sliding for any reason but you're still moving pretty fast, you should be able to just comp completely uh, resume sliding without having to sprint and start the whole process again unless that's what suits your game so the min condition duration is how long you need to have met these requirements for before you can slide uh, floor slide can start from here so if I just come in here I'm just going to jump off here. You can see I can start floor sliding while I'm in the air. And turning that off means you have to be on the ground to floor slide. Cooldown time. So basically how long you have to wait after your floor slide finishes before you can start again. And that might be useful if you're using these boosts where they get some speed bonus so they don't stop and start sliding repeatedly to go faster and faster. Um, and speed. If you move slower than the speed, you will stop sliding. And floor slide can continue in air. If this is unchecked and you go into the air, you stop sliding. And can walk off the edges when floor sliding. Usually you want this to be true. Basically, if you're walking and you're about to fall off and go into the falling state, it won't let you move forward if this is unchecked while you're floor sliding. And this is just our engine functionality that I've extended to floor sliding because why not? Okay, so let's talk about what stops us floor sliding. So you've seen we have a min speed. Now we have max walk speed floor sliding. So this is an incredibly low number. So we're always going to be above the max walk speed. When we're above the max walk speed, braking deceleration is applied. So this is basically amounts to speed loss, which will then bring us below this value and stop us sliding. So if I set it to 512, you'll see I cannot slide for very long at all. And all of these attributes work the same way for every other state. So max acceleration floor sliding is basically, it allows us to keep going faster. If I go 2048, then first thing that will happen is it won't let us keep sliding because it won't apply that acceleration while we're already braking because we're over the min speed but it does let us change directions during the slide. Now if I was to set this as say 500 so that it doesn't break, what it means is we can really just keep on going, which looks a bit silly. 
So I'm going to set that back. Now ground friction. If I say set this to 8 and we have high acceleration and I put this back to 500 just for now because there's a lot of friction we can very rapidly change the direction in fact it's almost like we're walking at that point but we don't want this because there's no braking so we can slide forever and while Apex Legion does allow us to keep sliding quite a lot and it allows a fair bit of movement direction change it's still not quite the result we want so what we might do is we go to a flat surface like the one I was making here at the start of the video and we just want to see what is our starting point if I slide it's a very short slide and I want to be able to go a bit further so I'm going to decrease this and maybe allow us to move a little slower before it stops us from sliding So now I have a longer slide. It's not a lot longer, but it still gives an impression that we could keep going if there was something to allow us to gain momentum. So now if I move over to this ramp, watch what happens when I slide uphill. Uh, we don't slide for very long if I go downhill. We can really just keep going for quite a while. And that's because if I go SLO for slope, these curves are reducing max speed when going uphill and increasing it going downhill. Same for acceleration and braking deceleration. So we're getting a lot more braking when going uphill and a lot less going downhill. In fact, way less going downhill. But furthermore, when sliding, we can modify the outcome of these values a lot. So you see, for slide downhill acceleration multiplier, we actually get five times as much effect or bonus from that slope curve when going downhill, which allows us to do a nice long slide down the hill, sort of like an apex. But we can't really slide uphill much. Now how far you want to slide uphill or how far you want to slide downhill is basically set through these properties here. And if you wanted to be able to slide a lot longer going uphill you would probably have to adjust the base on a flat surface so that it goes a bit longer as well. Now the other thing I wanted to talk about is you notice when he starts floor sliding there's a little burst of momentum and it's kind of been concealed by the camera so if I set it really high and I floor slide you really just get going and going as well. So from here so you can change how much boost you get if you're on ground or in air. If you want to give them a bonus for sliding while they're not already in the air, or specifically while they're in the air, this is where you do it. And this option, since we're using a speed threshold, we could decide, well, you can only have that boost if you're already sprinting. And once you put the the boost variables you should probably decide on before setting anything else because it really changes it because we actually need a lot more braking to come down from that amount of speed in a reasonable length of time. So now let's pretend we're making Breath of the Wild and you can only floor slide if you have a shield equipped because you slide on the shield. So we've got a functions override and we have can start floor slide and we'd say uh, let's go and so we've got the original conditions and we have a shield equipped I'm going to plug that in there and then 
can continue floor slide and uh, you know we still have our shield equipped and let's say let's say we determine if uh, the Anim instance any montage is playing not so let's say we use montages when you get hit or something and if they get hit then we can't keep floor sliding because you get knocked out of it that's that's where you'd do this well that covers the floor sliding thank you for watching in future versions there might be new settings and you can mouse over them and see what they do as well because there are tooltips